So now the kiddos, they reached the deserts of Sahara. Let's see what they spot here. Is it hot here? Yes, it is so hot. You're right. It is because we are in the desert. And look, there's the largest animal of the desert, the camel. But I saw the stick is made of water. Because it has stored fat in its hump. Let's find out more. Camels live in deserts where it is hot and dry. Camels have adapted and found ways to help them survive in deserts. They have a thick coat of hair that protects them from the heat in the day and keeps them warm at night. Their large feet spreads their weight on the sand when they are walking. Now, the most important fact about how they can survive in the desert for so long without having access to food or water. So, when they have access to food and water, a camel can drink and eat large amounts of it and store it as fat in the hump. Then, when there is no food or water, the camel uses the fat for energy and the hump becomes small and soft. When you see the camel's hump shrinks in size, it means that it has used up mostly all of it stored fat. A camel's waist contains very little water. Even the water from the camel's breath flows back into its mouth. The camels have bushy eyebrows that don't let the sand go in their eyes in a sandstorm. It has long neck in order to reach high leaves such as palm trees. A camel has a naturally adapted temperature regulation. It can change its body temperature by 6 degrees either way. It, so it has two sets of eyelashes, hairy eyes, tough and leathery skin to protect the camel's skin in emergencies such as sandstorm. It has thick rubbery lips to eat dry prickly plants and a large hair tail to sweat pests such as mosquitoes and flies. So you see here, complete body of a camel is designed in a way that it can survive in the deserts, the extreme temperatures of deserts, the sandstorms, the flies, the excess to uh, the leaves. So yes, the secret of the camels not needing the water for long in such a hot weather is in its humps. Is it filled or stored with water? No, it is filled with fat. Enough fat to supply the animal with energy and hydration for long hauls through the desert. Their bane also has a sort of natural air conditioning. Their humps, this part, their humps, provide with enough energy for about seven months in winter but about a week in peak summer to carry on. You can tell when it, when it will need food or water from the size of its hump which actually shrinks when camel uses up all its stored fat. Isn't that a cool fun fact to know about the camels? So it is the desert's biggest animal that we saw now, the camel.